Hey everyone, it's Stephanie with the Cool Team at Compass, and today I am with the owners of Dutch Monkey, uh, Martin and Arpana. Hello guys. <laughs> so thank you guys for having me today, and we are going to cut to a quick interview with these guys so you can learn more about this awesome establishment in Forsyth County. I think the primary reason was because we were both tired of fine dining and we wanted to do something that we could work together, a place we could learn to work together and because uh, we worked so well together. And uh, we both loved donuts. One of our first dates was at the donut shop. They can expect uh, something that's fresh and homemade and made with a lot of love yeah. uh, and attention to detail. Um, we make everything in-house from scratch every morning. Nothing is saved at the end of the day. It's, it's either donated or thrown away. Um, so they can expect a great customer service. They can expect great coffee and uh, just a fun atmosphere. Everybody comes in happy. They live happy. Mm -hmm. We're um, by profession cooks, so we've always been in the back of the house in the kitchen, and we didn't have to communicate with customers. Have to. We didn't have to communicate with customers at all. Um, or didn't have the opportunity to, and then we opened this place and we started talking to people and we're like, wow, okay, people around here are kind of cool. And we've made a ton of friends just through the shop. Um, so that, that's probably it. It's just a nice kind of community atmosphere that I think we were never exposed to because we were always stuck in the kitchen. My day usually starts around 3 when I get here and uh, we start making cake donuts right away. Those are something that we throw together in the morning uh, when I come in. And uh, then I start proofing donuts and they rise for about an hour and a half and then I start frying uh, all the yeasted donuts. Um, the yeast donuts take is a, really a two or sometimes three day process. Um, but I roll them uh, one day and then they proof very slowly in the fridge overnight. Uh, it develops a lot of flavor and great texture. And I've, I've found over the years that it's all about the proofing and letting it rise and being patient with the dough. It really gives you We had an opportunity to open a new shop in Johns Creek on the corner of Bell Road and 41, which is sort of near Abbott's Bridge Road. And um, it's a small cafe space within um, a condo building. That's upscale condo building, and we are planning to do donuts from here. Don't, donuts will be made here, and then brought over there, and then um, European style potato frites for like lunch afternoon time. Um, we're really excited about that because if there's anything we love more than donuts, it's frites, fries, French fries. Um, I mean, there's pizza too, but that, we'll save that for another time. Maybe that'll be another concept. <laughs> uh, but we're also doing soft serve ice cream as well. Kind of just kind of keeping that whole kind of snacky kind of food yeah. contained in one place, and, and we're pretty pumped about it because it's all the things we like to eat, and Which could be good or bad for us <laughs> depending. Uh, and we think other people will like it too. We eat very simply at home. Um, Martin usually makes dinner, and he makes um, salads for everyone. <laughs> And um, just very simple things, like we'll have one vegetable that's just really well cooked or one type of meat that's really well cooked. Um, we don't do a lot of fancy stuff, unless well, it's pizza day and he makes the most awesome pizza ever. On and he does special occasions, I'll make pizza or just uh, make pizza. Yeah. Well, we don't do vacations often enough. Uh, which, we just don't know, make the time for it. Yeah, we don't make the time. Um, but I, I think ideally, we're working out and we're ideally working out, hanging out on the couch and watching practice. Yeah, so first thing in the morning, we get the kids together, get dressed, we'll like go for a hike or something to wear us all out. And then we come home and eat and just chill. That's it. Doing a lot of nothing. It's on our days off. It's pretty important. It helps us compress and get too stressed all the time. 
it's hard to find things that we can do with, I mean, right now at home we have an 8th grader and a pre-K student, or a pre-K age kid, and finding things that the two of them can do together is difficult, so it's mostly outdoorsy stuff. Kids just behave better outdoors. <laughs> I keep joking, they should live in a tent outside and they feel long just fine. Yeah. <laughs>